Hi, Justin Taylor here from Spreaker Headquarters. Today we're going to dive into one of 2.4's main features, eMaps. The eMaps feature allows you to place your sites and channels on an imported image of your application. This will assist the client user in locating where the cameras are installed, and when an incident occurs, they will be able to quickly and effectively respond to the situation. Best part about this feature, no license is required. Let's get on the PC and create an eMap. In the configuration tool, we will go to the Maps tab. Below, we will see a list for maps and a list for our sites. If a site has been disabled in the Sites tab, it will not be displayed in the Sites list. To import an image that will be used for a map, click New. Locate the image and then open it. You will then be prompted to give the map a name. Once entered, click OK. Your image will now be in the center of the interface. While not necessary, you can give the map a description. Now we can start placing our cameras on the map. Simply click a site or channel and drag it onto the map. You will then release it in the location where you want it placed. Now an icon will be shown in that location. Right click the icon and click camera info to find out more information about this icon. You will see that this icon is associated with this O2B8M. To exit the window, click OK. Once you've completed mapping your sites and channels, be sure to apply your settings. You will then need to restart the SecureGuard service. You can do so by exiting out of the configuration tool or by going into the system tab and manually restarting it yourself. Now let's log into the client. The eMaps will be listed at the top of your group. To view an eMap, click and drag the map onto the channel grid as if it were a site or a channel. If a site is disconnected, the disconnected icon will be displayed. If you did not add a map site to the group, it will be identified as being disconnected. Now let's connect our cameras. As you can see, the icons on the map will reflect the status of the sites and channels. This is not just limited to the connection status, but it also covers recording events as well. We can produce a small preview window by clicking a mapped camera. To enlarge the camera, double click the window and the video will take up the entire channel box. To bring it back to its original size, double click it again. To exit out of the window, simply click the X. If a motion or sensor event occurs, these windows will pop up automatically. Map cameras can also be moved to their own channel box. Simply click and drag to an empty channel box. You can easily locate a map site or channel by clicking and dragging a site or channel onto the eMap. If that site or channel is mapped, the icon will enlarge. Well, that was a handful. I hope this feature proves to be very useful in your application. If you have any questions about eMaps, feel free to contact our tech support team. Thank you for watching. Thank you for choosing Speako.